on. Hey guys. <laughs> I don't even know if anybody's on here, but um my apologies for the view of my living room. Um, but I just wanted to share something before we get um um on the line for prayer. I'm sorry, by the way, my name is Nicole. I represent Royal Cloth Ministries. I love the babies. Youth leader, praise the Lord. Anyway, just wanted to share like the Lord has been putting on my heart like so strong about prayer and um just being in his face and just lifting up other people's prayer requests. A lot of times I would be like, you know, I don't I don't know what to pray, God. Like, you know, or I would I would go and pray and instantly like someone would pop up on my head or in my spirit and I'm like okay you know what is this like why am I thinking about so and so or why is this person coming to my mind and I thought it was a distraction I would actually pray against it and I didn't realize until I noticed that I'm an intercessor like to the Lord put it on my spirit you know I would receive different teachings about uh, the heart of the intercessor and how we, you know, are constantly uplifting others before ourselves. And I was like, oh, well, that's me. Like, but I didn't know. I thought that was just normal. Like, I thought this is what everyone does. Everyone prays for everyone. Um, and some people do pray for, um, other people, praise Lord. But, um, I, I really learned that my heart, like it just burned with the desire to uplift other people to the point where I actually had to learn that, I needed to pray for myself as well because I was always covering someone else. And so um, I'm grateful, you know, for for the experience and the knowledge and learning that um, I need to uplift myself as well. But just also learning that um, that I'm, a, I'm an intercessor and really understanding that and understanding my my role um, and, and where God has me and what he wants me to do. And so um, within the past few months, he is really just... I've really grown a lot in prayer. I've been noticing that, that there are times when I don't even know what I'm saying. I just can't stop praying. I can't stop moving. Um, and I'm, I'm about, actually about to jump on the Royal Cloth line now and um, start praying. Um, and my spirit is just leaping. Um, uh, last Friday, we had amazing prayer. God just moved. And, and, I was talking to a friend of mine about uh, some place in Delaware, I believe it's called the threshing floor. And I said, wow, like, you know, let, let me know the name of that church. I would like to go. And she said, okay. And the Lord, Holy Spirit was putting on my heart, like, don't try to seek somewhere to go and pray and, and move in that spirit, but create it. And so I said, amen, God. And so when I went to prayer last Friday, I just had great expectancy. Like, I am ready. I'm ready to create what you've put on my heart. I'm ready to create a place where your presence resides, you know, where where you are glorified. Um, and so God moved <laughs> Friday and it was amazing. And he was showing me things in the spirit. And it was such a blessing. And so I, I was just, you know, looking like, wow, like, God, you're so awesome. And so our next day, um, which was last Saturday, was our fellowship day. And so God was just letting me know, like, don't stop. Why do you think that when you ex when when you experience a high that then, it, you know, you have to go low? No, keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing into my presence. Go further. You know, um, and, and I said, OK, God. <laughs> and as soon as I walked in, I was a little late. And as soon as I walked in immediately, I just went straight into worship because they were worshiping. And I went into worship and my sister, um, my sister, Regina, shout out to Lady Royal. She started she started weeping and she started praying and I and I could feel her tears. Um, I felt it. And um, <laughs> excuse me. And, um, instantly I just, you know, I just went in and my, and my spirit was just leaping and it was just such a blessing. And Saturday we were so high. I mean, the presence of God, hi sis, the presence of God was just so strong. And so, um, God has, has just been letting me know that to continue to create that. And so, um, this, this Friday I, I called for prayer at my house and, you know, some things came and people were busy and, and people couldn't come. And it's funny because, um, 
at my sister's um, bridal shower, Z, um, we were talking and I said, Holy Spirit has been saying to me, okay, so-and-so cancel prayer. You have prayer. You do it. And so I did it tonight and um, no one was able to come. And um, so I said, okay, I I'm not going to lie. I was feeling a little down for a minute. Like, mm, okay, well, you know, and, and then Holy Spirit put on my heart, like, I need you to pray. Don't worry about if anyone can come. Don't worry about what anyone is doing. I need for you to pray. And I said that. I said, Holy Spirit wants to know, are you going to pray? If no one shows up, will you pray? And I feel like he's putting me to the test. And so I, I thank God, um, you know, and, and for obedience as well. And it just so happened that, you know, one of my sisters said, well, can we still pray over the phone? And I said, sure. And so, um. I put out a message on Facebook and we, we pushed the time back a little bit to eight o'clock instead for a conference call just to make it convenient for other people. Um, because my night was, is, was just going to all be, be all about prayer. Excuse me. And so, um, within that time, people were sending me prayer requests and, um, you know, really, really deep things that were on their heart and inboxing me. And then I was just like, okay, Holy Spirit, like I see what you're doing, you know, um, it might not have been for people to come, but more so with the, the Facebook message saying anyone who wants to come or sending within that time, it was supposed to start at seven and now it won't start until eight. But within that little period of time, um, just texting people saying, Hey, you know, do you want to jump on the line? Do you have a prayer request? And so I'm really grateful to God. Um, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the time. I need to get off in like two minutes. So I'm, I'm just grateful to God that he set it up that way. Sometimes we get a little discouraged and we don't know how the Lord is going to move and what Holy Spirit wants us to do. And, um, just within that little bit of time where I was feeling, you know, kind of down, um, I found out some good news with my brother, Sean, and just seeing the victory that my sister Tierra won today. And it really pushed me. And so I'm really just, I just am feeling the Holy spirit. And I just can't wait to get on this line because I know the fire of God is really going to just smack the line and crack the phone. And <laughs> I'm just so excited. So, um, just continue to, you know, be obedient to what the Lord has you to do. Um, prayer is very important. Um, continue to pray for others as well as yourself but um you know god god needs uh, us intercessors so if he's calling you you know take heed and answer to the call amen z and we'll be praying for you as well i'm glad to hear that you're feeling better so i'm going to get off so i can be on the line on time and start praying um, i'm excited with what god is going to do and i just thank um royal claw family i love you guys i love um Everyone, praise God, Emmanuel, our God is with us. Glory to God. I love you. And um, Z, I don't know if you're getting on the line, but um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay? Praise the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye.